guys, how are you doing? I haven't made a video for you for a while, so it feels like it's been forever since I've talked to you. Um, anyways, let's get to the point. Um, in this video, I'm going to make some homemade chili for you. Chili is great for lots of different reasons. Not only is it healthy, but also has lots of protein in it. Um, I make it in a crock pot, so therefore you just, of course, pour all the ingredients in there and get a walk away and do whatever else you need in a day. I like to use kidney beans, pinto beans, and black beans. After opening all the cans, you want to strain them. So just put them all in the strainer. I mean, you can make the beans from scratch if you want. They'll just be a lot more work and take a lot longer. So you want to rinse them. Just rinse them in the can because they do break apart a little easier. Then just dump the beans in the crock pot. You can always add more beans, but I like to put all the other ingredients in it first. So next you'll need some tomatoes and why not fresh tomatoes? Those are the best. And then also peppers. Fresh is always best. Cutting up fresh tomatoes. After you put the beans and the tomatoes in the crock pot, you'll want to cook them down for about an hour. And then after an hour, you'll want to cook up the hamburger meat. I'd use about a pound or two, depending on the size of your crock pot. Um, cook it. So I just up. got done cooking up the hamburger meat and I put it in the crock pot. Um, just stir them all together. And then you're ready to cut up the onions and the peppers. So now it's time to cut the onions. Um, so I usually use about a half an onion. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of onion you put in it. Um, this one's a sweet onion, but you don't have to have a sweet onion if you don't want. Um, and then I usually put a bell pepper. This one's a small one, so obviously I'm gonna use the whole one. Um, and then um, last year I had a lot of jalapeno um, peppers. And so I freeze them and then cut them. It's so much easier to cut peppers if they're frozen. So I usually, for those I usually use about one or two, depending on how spicy you like it, and depending on how much your, how big your crock pot is. Um, this crock pot is smaller, so I'll use about one. Um, just put the ingredients in the crock pot. So here are the onions. Do you like my bowl? Can you see it? I made it in pottery class. <laughs> and I just stir these all in together. And now you're ready to put the seasonings in. Here is chili powder, oregano, black pepper, and cumin. Cayenne, salt, garlic, and paprika. So after you put the seasonings in, just mix it all in. I usually use about a half a teaspoon of all those seasonings. Um, but if you have a really big crock pot, I would use a teaspoon instead of a half a teaspoon. Just kind of taste it and see what tastes Things good. I use is garlic. I usually mince about three garlic cloves. Aren't these pretty cool? Some friends of ours grew some garlic and this is what they look like. So it's fresh garlic. Pretty cool. The last ingredient I like to use is cilantro. Cilantro just, just adds to the chili. If you don't have cilantro, you don't have to have it, but I like the ingredients it. together for at least two hours. I would say two to four hours on low. Let all the ingredients mend together and then it's ready. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video on making chili. If you need any more details, of the recipe just comment below and ask me or if you have any more questions on anything else just comment below thanks so much for watching my video bye bye